A uh, 48-year-old uh, female patient was referred to us for EUS SOS ERCP for a suspected lower end CBD block on other imaging study with dilated bile duct. Uh, we are seeing on endoscopic ultrasound, you see on radial EUS a classical intraampular lesion. Uh, sort of a villous lesion protruding into the lower bile duct, measuring around 18 by 12 millimeters. Uh, the advantage of EUS over other conventional imaging is the specificity. And we can see the entire ampullary lesion uh, and villous type of growth with some mucin perhaps uh, floating in the lower bile duct. So the specificity of EUS, uh, fortunately, is much higher than the conventional imaging, uh, even with uh, the B-mode uh, uh, ultrasound. You can see a dilated bile duct, massively dilated CBD. So on EUS cholangiogram, when you have a clear-cut picture like this, this also obviates the need to inject uh, contrast to obtain a formal cholangiogram on the uh, ERC when you have to perform. Now, this patient has cholestatic symptoms, has uh, bilirubin of almost uh, 14 milligrams percent, and patient was referred to us for decompression at the same time tissue diagnosis. So here we are seeing uh, uh, some few sub-centimeter uh, hypoechoic nodes very close to the celiac artery with hyperechoic center. You can see some hyperechoic centers then in the irregular nodes. And this could also be secondary to a uh, few episodes, maybe cholangitis, mild cholangitis. You can see the mediastinum there. So subsequently, we went ahead with the ERC. Duodenoscopy revealed uh, a very fleshy, bulging ampulla. We always try and cannulate the bile duct uh, uh, trans... Uh, opening uh, rather than doing a pre-cut in such situation because it can bleed. Uh, we are deep into the biliary ductal system and then we inject contrast and you can see a pseudo calculus uh, filling defect at the level of ampulla. Uh, it's always advisable to do a complete biliary sphincterotomy in such situation uh, because uh, you will see that the tumor pops out uh, once you do a sphincterotomy and you try and take an ampullary biopsy without sphincterotomy, you may not get uh, tissue representation. So you see I'm cutting across the entire length of the ampulla bulging and you see how the tumor pops out with the mucinous material along with it uh, oozing out dark bile once the sphincterotomy is complete. Uh, it's our standard practice whenever we have a proliferative lesion like this encountered in the ampulla or the periampular region. Uh, I prefer to leave a double pigtail 10 French stent uh, rather than a straight stent because we do not know the, the final uh, clinical follow-up of these patients. Uh, the double pigtail stent will continue to drain uh, even if this tumor proliferates in this area, if surgery is deferred for any reasons. Uh, yes, you can potentially argue of metal stent, but here I'm s putting a, a double pigtail. You can see the inner pigtail opening up and the outer pigtail uh, completely in place with a marker. So proliferative lesions, uh, we can have... Uh, a proper biopsy after a sphincterotomy, and this patient had uh, an adenocarcinoma uh, with uh, uh, severe dysplasia and adenocarcinoma on endoscopic biopsy. Uh, some villus pattern was also seen, and this patient would be subjected to a formal resection after detailed staging. You can see here pigtail stents.